gentlemen. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, slap. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flap, then let them flap. See you in the next world. Forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get set. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. He's 
tough with a capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. Okay, I'll stop. Soon. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on... The Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. before that lunatic squashes another town.
security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there, but it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. Huckleberry Cooper developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick.
breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it.
Lucky for you, I burst in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. <laughs> <laughs>